All right, great. Warm up your fingers. In this lesson, we will start coding. One of the main concepts in programming is variables. They are your best friends. You will deal with them all the time. You will use them to store information. They will represent your data input. Let's say you want to have a variable x that is equal to the value of 5 and then ask the computer to tell you the value of that variable. So, we must tell the machine that x equals 5. And this is how you could do this in Python. Type x equals 5. To go through the process of programming, the line that says x equals 5 is called a command or a program. This is just a line of text. To make something out of it, we must execute it. Only then will the computer carry out operations with it. Press Shift and Enter, not just Enter, and a variable called x will be created and assigned with a value of 5. To be more precise, equality in Python and in programming means assign or bind to. OK, we carry this operation, but we see nothing right now. How can we ask the computer to show us the output of what we just did? It would be sufficient to write X and then press Shift and Enter. And here's the result, 5. Great. As you can see, typing in a single line of code entails a few concepts of programming simultaneously. In the next few lectures, we'll make sure everything falls in place. Now, let's assign the value 8 to a variable we call Y. All right, Shift plus Enter, and we can check Y. However, I'll type capital Y. Oh, an error. This shows us that Python is case sensitive, so pay attention to that. It matters if you use lowercase or uppercase letters. An alternative way to execute the instruction that will provide the value we assign to Y would be to use the print command. At first sight, it seems redundant, as we showed we can just type Y. Nevertheless, this command is applied often. You'll see it in most of the code produced by professionals. It complements the logical flow of your instructions. For instance, if we say print Y, the machine will simply execute this command and provide the value of Y as a statement, and this is all a programmer must see sometimes. Print exists in Python 3 as well. Its functionality is practically identical to the one just described for Python 2, with the sole difference that here you must place the name of the variable within parentheses. In this case, y. Then you can press Shift and Enter to execute the code in the cell and see that you'll obtain an identical output, the number 8. The difference stems from the fact that Python 3 treats print as a function, while Python 2 rather as a command. But we will not dig deeper into explaining this, as there's a whole section devoted to Python functions, where everything about functions will become much clearer. Therefore, from now on, if you are using Python 3 and you see print followed by a name of a variable, Please just add parentheses around the variable name and you'll be good to go. Great! We hope you found this comparison useful. Now, let's continue by talking about Python variables. The last thing I'd like to share with you in this lecture is you can assign a certain number of values to the same number of variables. To create the variables x and y, we have to assign two values, say 1 and 2. We must separate each of the variables and each of the values with a comma. The parentheses here are not obligatory, but we use them to improve the readability of our code. Now, if I call x or y separately, the computer will correctly give me their respective values. It is very important that the number of variables on that line equals the number of values. Otherwise, you'll get an error message. See? Great! This is a great start to our journey in Python. Make sure you go through the exercises attached to this lecture. We'll see you in the next one.